We have water scarcity in many places around the world. One of the biggest crops around the world is rice and rice is usually grown in water and uh, the water that is used in rice cultivation is evaporating uh, in huge amounts and so the water is disappearing and uh, this is contributing to drought and to get away from um, the wet rice production uh, we want to introduce a uh, innovative concept and this is I rice and this means intercropping rice and it also means it's uh, intelligent rice production. Let's dive into it. So uh, to start with um, we look at um, the conventional rice production so let's zoom in this field. Still one of the old-fashioned farmers that is uh, having field and um, now they are transplanting uh, the seedlings and they put lots and lots of uh, little plants in there very very dense very dense and water is evaporating all the time and uh, while the plant develops and if we look at that from the side um, I wanted to have this one here uh, we will see that um, these rice plants, they are growing very, very, very densely. Um, what is good for the seed distrib uh, distributor, but not for the rice plant. And so these plants are developing relatively a few um, tumors with uh, rice. Um, so that's the old-fashioned systems. Uh, one of the upsides is that um, through the flooding, uh, weeds are suppressed. And uh, of course, um, if it's all the time filled with water, you don't need to irrigate more than that. But as I said, there is lots of water evaporating all the time. And so this leads to water scarcity. So this system is not what we want. So let's look at the neighboring plot, a more innovative farmer. And this farmer has made training in a system of rice intensification. So that's the uh, SRI system, SRI, system of rice intensification, sorry for this. Um, and the idea behind that, and that's well established since a few um, decades, and well, millions of small farmers are very successful with that. And the idea is to transplant less plants, so there is wider spacing. And so for these um, plants, there is uh, a lot more space per plant and so they like that so they develop very very strongly they become real bushes and they develop because they have so much space they develop lots of tillers and that means lots of yield and lots of food lots of lots of income and a loss a lot less water is used so that's something that is great. We like SRI, but we want to get a step further. And that's the work that uh, Dr. Tafsif Shah has done at Hamburg University of, Te of Technology. And uh, he has done uh, greenhouse experiments at the university in the north of Germany and in his home country, Kashmir. And the basic idea comes from uh, SRI, so I met Dr. Mubiar uh, maybe 20 years back in Indonesia. He was one of the early researchers at Bandung University of Technology. And uh, so from him, I learned the advantage of SRI and also visited some farms and I was impressed. It's not so prone to damage in flooding, interestingly. 
and the farmers are uh, having a lot more income and uh, when they do it right they need to put compost as well uh, so the plants need a little bit of, of compost to to improve the soil and replenish it uh, then um, these farmers can be very successful then um, when i discussed this with tafsif um, he had the idea to have the same plot and plant the rice in the way it is done with SRI. And one of the big downsides of SRI is that the nasty weeds have a lot of space and they can develop in between and they could even overgrow uh, the crop and so the weeding has to be done all the time that's a lot of work and that's the main criticism in um, SRI rice and uh, obviously there's something about that it's uh, a lot of labor still it does make sense uh, but of course all that labor is uh, a downside of the system and so if we look at uh, I rice now uh, this is system where the rice is transplanted like in SRI. So all the training centers are there. Um, the same patterns are there, same upsides and downsides initially. But then the idea of uh, Dr. Shah was to uh, do intercropping with beans. And now beans are a legume and so they can uh, produce an additional fruit when timing is right uh, it's an art to do that right of course and one of the main upsides here is that um, the roots and the uh, root bacteria uh, they provide nitrogen to the crop and uh, at the same time, they don't compete too heavily because the um, SRI type um, rice plant is uh, pushing strong roots also pretty deep down. So there's not that much competition. And so that's great. Another crop uh, nitrogen factory in the field. And to our surprise, there was one um, additional very, very big upside. Let, let's make some fruit here as well, because through the nitrogen, there is even more yield than in uh, conventional SRI, at least now, according to the experiments that were done. Um, but one thing is the downside of uh, SRI, <clears throat> the wheat growth, um, is, well, not there anymore that much because these beans are pretty strong growers uh, they can outcompete the weeds they make some uh, shade on the soil so there is um, less weed growth less water evaporation uh, there is uh, also a um, well stimulation of, of, of or, or it, it helps uh, grows by not heating up the soil so much in the time when the plants are not so big yet so there are lots of uh, upsides in that one and that's why we like the system so much and the great thing is the yield in uh, I rice was higher and uh, at the same time we have a lot of advantages and so let's list the advantages uh, to wrap up and uh, the main objective was that we wanted to less water consumption um, then um, we have less seeds no uh, mineral fertilizer needed 
Um, then, after a while, when the soil is really developing, because we want to build uh, good soil, um, there will eventually uh, be uh, such strong plants that um, there is uh, less problem with seeds, uh, with, with, with pests, less problem with pests, because the plants grow very strong, especially if you add all the trace elements. And um, then um, we have uh, the major thing, and that is the weed suppression. And uh, finally, we have something that is really, really nice for the farmers and uh, very hopeful for a good future for the small farms because they earn much more money, more income. And it's not just a little bit more, it's a lot less expenditure and at the same time more income. Uh, the beans are produced, the nitrogen comes by its own uh, high yields, less water is needed, sometimes water needs to be paid for, the soil is developing and so that's a great system and uh, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Please spread the word, it's really important uh, for the small farms to get into this um, to be able to compete well, to make healthy food for healthy people and uh, to create a good future for all, to get away from water scarcity and so on. Thanks very much for listening. <laughs>